All right, let's talk about applying different uh, development settings to multiple images. So I'm going to uh, move over here and let's develop this into a black and white version, partly because it's already pretty monochromatic as it is. So I'm going to just kind of quickly go through these options. Um, you can click on black and white, and it gives us an option here where we can apply different luminosity uh, values to uh, the image. This doesn't have a lot of different values, so we'll actually do that with another one, another image. But um, I'm just going to develop these a little bit. We'll crank up the contrast. I want these shadows to be nice and black. We'll really crank up the... We'll clip a little bit of that, so we'll make it a little bit more black. We'll bring the highlights down, maybe the lights. I just want this to be really gritty. We can turn this on and off here. So I like that. So let's say I like that black and white setting. You can see now I want to apply it to this image that was before it. So first you can simply just copy. So I can copy those settings. And this dialog comes up and it lets us copy all of them or a few of the different settings. We've really only done these basic treatments here. We can go through some of these others in uh, various videos, but we can select all of those. I'm going to just copy the ones that it's selected. And now I can click on this image here and paste those settings. And it applies all of those settings to that image as well. Let's say I want to apply those settings to uh, all of these, you can see I can also click on an image and hit previous and it will take those settings for the previous development that we did and apply it there. I can also apply it to a group of images so if I select all of these as well you'll notice that this sync option comes up and if I just click that it'll ask again for the synchronized settings but now it's going to apply those settings to all of those images. So I could simply apply all those there and synchronize all of them. And you can see that now those are all, all synchronized. So, so it'll synchronize this setting to all of those. So you can see how that now is applied, the black and white adjustments to those. So that can work especially if you've got a whole bunch of images that are kind of shot in the same light, in the same setting, and you'd like to apply the same development adjustments to those. So that's how we can work through that. Um, and again, if you don't like it, we can always reset it and take it back to its original state, which is a very simple thing to do, which is really wonderful. So let's say we like that setting as well, and we want to apply it down the line. Um, under presets, you can see that I've had these the settings are still loaded here, so I can hit this right here, and I can say create preset, and I can you know decide what I want to call it, but black and white high contrast, and now that is a, a setting right here that I have, and so if I wanted to apply that later, I can just clipply, simply click on that and it will select that. But you'll notice that you can save multiple types and again always go back to the reset. It'll reset the image to what you originally saw it as. So that's a really powerful tool for applying development settings across um, across a whole set of images. Now you'll notice here, let's go into the black and white setting again to show you that, and we'll do that here in the next video.